Pixelpad allows us to use animated sprites in our game. For this example, I have my player being created in my game, and the only thing I can do is walk right and left. But my player yet doesn't have a sprite. So first I'll go to the asset store and find an animated sprite that I can use. I will choose the Astro Run. I will then select this sprite and give it a name. As you can see, when we click on this sprite, we can see something very different. That's because animated sprites are basically a sprite sheet with all the frames of this animation. Let's go inside our player class. Here on the start tab, I will just set the sprite as I would normally do. As you can see, my sprite's not animated, right? I can just see my sprite sheet in my game. So let's transform these into an animation. We have to change our code a little bit. First, this is not going to be our sprite, this is going to be our sprite sheet. As this is our sprite sheet, we have to add a couple more information here inside this sprite function. So we say the name of the sprite sheet we're going to use, comma, and then we have to give it two numbers. First, the number of rows that have in this sprite sheet. As you can see, we have just one row. So I will add the number one here because I have just one row. Now I add another comma and I have to specify how many columns does this sprite sheet has. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it has one row and 12 columns. So that's how our sprite sheet function will look like. And we're going to use this sprite sheet to create our animation now. So here I will add a new line and I will start creating my animation. Using the new animation function, we're gonna need to pass the sprite sheet we've just created. Then we add a comma, and now we have to give a number that will represent how fast this animation is gonna be played in frames per second. This number is gonna be different for each animation that you add in our game. We will have to adjust this number later once our animation is done. So for now, I will just use 50 here. Now we add another comma, and we have to say now the number of the image where our animation starts and the number of the image where our animation finishes. If you open your animation, the first image on your top left is your first image that's going to be played. And that image is the image number zero. So if I want to start from this image here, I will add there on my player code the number zero because that's the first image where my animation starts. Then we add a comma, and I have now to say the last image where my animation finishes. I'll go back to my sprite sheet, and now I will look to my last image. Here, as my animation has just one row, the last image is this here on the right. If your animation has more than one row, then your last image will be the one from the bottom right. So now we just have to count starting from zero until we get to the last image so we can find the number of the last image. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So my last image is the image number eleven. Now I'm gonna go inside my player and I'll add the eleven after the zero there. Now the last thing we have to do is to use the set animation function to set the animation we've just created on ourselves, the player. After adding this code, that's it. Now, when I play my game, you can see that my player is running very fast. So if I want the animation to play slower, what I have to do is I have to change this first number here from the new animation function. That is how fast this animation is gonna play. So if I want to play my animation here is lower, I will make this number smaller. Let's try 25. That's better, and we are done.